Gerentano as our first guest here at the Bay Area Media Day. Thank you. Um, I used to hold this mic, but I guess I will. Um, thanks to the media, you know, anytime college baseball, and uh, thanks to Stanford for hosting this event and, and every year putting it together and giving us an opportunity to talk about college baseball. Kind of an interesting year for college baseball and uh, what we're going through here in the Bay Area, and hopefully this could be a, a statement year for, for college baseball. Hopefully we, we do the things that, that all of us want to do from a, a wins and loss standpoint, but from a competitive standpoint, I know we need to give that support to Cal because we need Cal baseball to stay here in the Bay Area. So uh, as, as everyone gets up here, I, I think it's a statement year for us in college baseball to keep it going and going in the right direction. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about USF. Uh, coming off a fourth place finish uh, last year, I think the bat standard is probably the biggest issue that we'll face and some of the questions that will be asked going to the BB core bat, but uh, we had an unfortunate incident last year at the start of the year where Matt Heisman was hit uh, in the head at practice about seven days before the start of the season, and uh, that was a tough thing to go through. So when we look at the bat standard and the changing of the bats, Matt is back and, and he's healthy uh, after 12 months, the, the swelling's down, uh, his balance is back, and, and Looks like a full recovery right now, so it's a great success story, and, and we're glad that the, the bats are making that kind of a change so that there's some safety and, and things that we're going to go through for the season. But when I talk about the Dons, I think balance is the one thing that we talk about. I think we have good balance. Uh, we have a lot of players back. Uh, we have 11 seniors back in our program. Uh, we have six juniors back in our program. I think we'll only have one freshman, maybe two sophomores that may make an impact for us this year. So. We have an opportunity to have a, a great year. Just let me go through, uh, I'll just go through the team. Uh, Friday starter, Matt Lujan, who's a senior, left-handed pitcher. He's been a starter for us for three years. He goes into his fourth season as a starter. Pitched on Sundays, Saturdays, and, and Fridays as well, so we're glad to have Matt. Uh, Saturday starter is a sophomore by the name of Kyle Zimmer, a kid that was about 14th on our depth chart last year and moved all the way up to number two, so it was a great surprise for us. He came in as a position player, and, and now he's, he's going to be a quality right-handed pitcher. Needs to get his feet wet in college baseball, and I think he'll do that the first weekend of the season when we go to UCLA uh, to open the season. So uh, we'll see where we go from there. Garrett Leupold will be our Sunday starter. He's a left-handed pitcher. He's a senior. I'll just go around the, the, the group. Travis Higgs is the player that I brought here. Uh, Travis is a, is a fifth-year senior at USF, graduated. Uh, he's our catcher. He sat behind Ryan Lipkin for a few years and learned the trades of, of what he was doing. Uh, we think Travis will be a great leader for us as he knows the ins and outs of our program. Uh, but he's back here with me, and you'll get a chance to ask him some questions. Uh, first base will be Nick Balog. He's a junior, left-handed hitter. Second base will be Jason Mahood. He's a sophomore, played sparingly last year at third, second base, and left field. Our shortstop is a position that we had to fill this year. Uh, Adam Clare will be our starting shortstop. He's a senior from Marin Catholic. Uh, we got Stephen Yarrow back this year. Stephen hit 16 home runs, uh, was a first-team All-WCC player. He'll be back for his senior season, and uh, we're glad to have him back for the senior season. In left field will be Ted Lee Masters. Ted's a, a transfer uh, from Long Beach State, sat out a year uh, with the transfer rule, and he'll, he'll move in and start in left field. In center field will be a senior, Pete Levine. Well, I think he's a very exciting player, has a chance to be a great player in our conference. And then in right field is Connor Burnett. Connor is a, is a senior from Modern Day High School, played for us, started for us for three years. So I think the strengths of the team, uh, if, if I set the example, maybe depth, maybe balance, and uh, hopefully we can stay competitive as far as our schedule. Uh, one of the top seven, top ten schedules in the country, I think it's ranked seventh in the country as a power ranking. We open up at UCLA. Uh, we got an opportunity to play here at Stanford. Obviously, we're going to Cal. We're going to go to Oregon and play at Oregon. So we'll play our fair share of Pac-10 schools, and hopefully we can we can stay above water and do well enough in the West Coast Conference and, and see what happens. But thank you for listening. Thanks for being here, and uh, good luck. Thank you, Coach.